The movie begins in winter 1943, Izzy. Izzy informs his classmates that his groin hair has grown three quarters of an inch. They rush to the rest room to see, however the school bell rings, so they decide to look at it later. As the students return to their classrooms, Olga stares at Stig Santessen, who lives in the equal building as her buddy, Lisbeth. Later, while the English instructor, Viola, exams the male student's attendance, they busy themselves with Izzy's hair measurements, passing around a bit of chewing gum, and sharing notes. The teacher then accepts Albert as the class leader since he was previously one. When she calls Stig's name, she finds out that he's also from Stockholm like her. As the new teacher writes on the board, Stig and his classmate have a heated discussion about women. During their break, the lads rush to the bathroom to measure Izzy's hair and realize he won their bet for having the longest. However, one of his classmates disqualifies Izzy, claiming Jews have more hair than regular people. Stig defends Izzy, saying that since he can't compete, he can get his money back from the bet, which his classmate begrudgingly relents. During class, Stig's classmate notices flies and asks the former to kill them. After Stig deftly uses a slingshot to kill the two insects. After class, Viola calls Stig to stay and informs him that she's aware of his classmate's shenanigans. Even though she's impressed with his slingshot's aim, she tells him to clean up the mess. She also asks him to read the note they were passing around. Stig is too ashamed to read it aloud, so Viola grabs and reads the note but becomes embarrassed over her student's ignorance about lovemaking. While Stig is cleaning above the chalkboard, he looks down at his teacher and admires her exposed neck. After his task, Stig returns to his apartment building when he hears loud music playing from his place, exciting him as he believes his older brother has returned from the war. He rushes upstairs but finds his mother, Stina, alone. His mom then informs him that his brother sent a letter and that his leave has been indefinitely postponed. While getting the letter, Stig turns off the light in their Christmas village to conserve their batteries. He then reads his brother's letter aloud, and they discover that his transfer to the submarine is imminent. This worries them due to the older son's claustrophobia. Later, Lisbeth pretends to run into Stig to get his attention, but he's late for his job at the theater, so he immediately leaves. Due to him being late, the movie is delayed so he can sell food, much to the audience's displeasure. Because of this, the projectionist warns Stig this will be the last time he'll delay the movie for him, but the latter bribes him with chocolate. The next day, Lisbeth and Olga admire Stig from afar. Afterward, they turn on the radio so Lisbeth can practice the Stockholm dialect to impress her crush. At the cinema, his brother, Sig, surprises Stig. Sig admits he failed the submarine qualification exam, but he'll retake it as he wants to be part of the underwater unit. Stig is worried about his claustrophobia, but his brother brushes it off. Sig then sees his date, Lone, and throws her a chocolate bar. A hopeful Stig wishes they could go home together after his shift but becomes annoyed when Sig arrives home much later instead. Although angry, Stig reveals he hasn't told anyone that his brother has returned. Sig then attempts to turn on the desk light, but Stig stops him since they have to conserve energy. The brothers then excitedly discuss Sig's upcoming boxing match in the Navy. Elsewhere, Stina uses a rubber duck to stop the snores of their father, Seymour. Sig hears it and smiles as he's truly home. The following day, Stig reads one of Viola's dictionaries in the classroom when the teacher arrives. He explains that he likes looking up unfamiliar words and asking for help from his previous teacher, so Viola gives in to his request. Stig then returns the dictionary underneath Viola's desk, using it as a chance to check her out. She notices his gaze and turns to find him staring at her. Viola shyly looks away while Stig leaves. During recess, Stig looks up at the school window hoping to see Viola. Lisbeth attempts to get his attention by asking about his pet turtle, but he ignores her. Meanwhile, Viola passes the same window and sees Stig looking up at her. Bothered, she walks away. The following morning, Stig spies on his teacher at her home and tries to catch her attention in class. During their break, he reads the dictionary again while his classmates leave. Once alone, he returns the dictionary to the teacher's desk and smells Viola's chair. However, some of his classmates catch him in the act. Later, since Albert is in the nurse's office, Stig volunteers to go with Viola to the map room. While heading up the stairs, Stig notices a loose handrail and tries to fix it. Viola comes to his aid when she sees the math teacher nearby and pushes them against the wall to hide. Excited by her actions, Stig kisses Viola, which she reciprocates. 
The pair then go to the map room to complete their task when they hear someone entering. With tension heating between them, they quickly hide behind the maps and make out while a science teacher searches for an anatomical model nearby. However, the bell interrupts them, so they quickly stop. In class, the two can't stop thinking about what happened. Albert then returns after class when Viola informs him that Stig will return the map. However, the class president insists that it's his task, much to Stig's irritation. Later, the students hear a plane flying overhead and go to the window to check it out, but their teacher scolds them for disrupting the discussion. After school, they go to the airfield to observe the warplanes. His classmate notices that Stig looks ill, so the latter uses this chance to leave. He goes to Viola's flat and asks her what he did wrong. A shocked Viola admits he's done nothing terrible and lets him in her apartment, where they kiss. Afterward, the pair sit on the sofa, where Viola instructs Stig not to come by unannounced and to use the kitchen stairs to escape as her husband may arrive unexpectedly. Elsewhere, Kiel collects milk cans then leaves a woman's camisole on a fence. He soon arrives home, revealing that he's Viola's husband, so Stig quickly hides behind the door as the former plays a classical song. When Kiel pours a milk can's contents inside the cuckoo clock, he attempts to grab a towel outside but is spotted by the latter. Much to Stig's surprise, Kiel thinks that his wife is tutoring him, so the student plays along before leaving. Viola then appears and is shocked to find Kiel home but is relieved that her husband isn't aware of what happened. The two continue indulging in their passion in Viola's flat and the map room for the next few days. One day, Viola shares about her wealthy father and asks Stig about his dad to get to know him more. The latter reveals that his father is a private chauffeur for executives but used to hunt moose. On another night, Stig is distracted at work since it's also the night of Siga's boxing match. His manager then arrives, scolds him for not wearing his hat, and pushes him to sell food even though the audience doesn't want to buy any. After work, Stig finally goes to the arena and is ecstatic when his brother wins. Later, Stig visits Viola and is about to join her in bed when Kiel arrives. He quickly hides and flees when the coast is clear. Unsatisfied, Stig grows restless at home. The following day, Stig and Viola walk together at school but go separately when they hear his schoolmates coming. After class, the student returns to Viola's house to surprise her with flowers since it's her birthday but finds the apartment empty. Kiel suddenly arrives with a bouquet but suspects nothing when he sees Stig in the kitchen. The husband then plays Tchaikovsky's, Romeo and Juliet, and checks the time. He holds up his glass by the cuckoo clock's door, and as soon it chirps, Jin spits out from its beak and onto the glass, amusing Stig. Kiel reveals that it's a trick to impress customers, then continues rambling about his job as a salesman. He admits that he finds his real name boring and uses, Frank, with his clients since it makes them think of Frank Sinatra. The student just nods along, amused by the odd character. One morning, at her place, Viola departs for class, leaving Stig a note to stay since Kiel is away. Before class starts, Viola accidentally reveals that Stig is absent to Albert, who's confused about why she knows, so she immediately lies that she met his mother earlier. During their break, she rushes back to her flat to make love again. One day, Kiel makes Stig listen to his collection of classical music while he rambles about nylon being an awful material for women's garments. Stig later returns home with one of Kiel's records and plays it. However, Seymour hates it and stops the recorder causing the angry son to fight him. Soon, Kiel catches Stig walking around the house in Viola's robe. To the student's surprise, the husband has always known about their relationship but didn't do anything since he did the same shortly after their wedding. Stig then returns home and finds a letter from Sig, where he decodes his brother's secret message stating he's fine aboard a submarine. Days later, Stig and Kiel quietly sit together and listen to classical music when they hear a radio broadcast of the German dictator. A drunk Kiel laments that he can't understand his speech, so Stig tries to calm him down. On another day, Viola finds the two playing soccer with the other tenants. She observes them for a while before she leaves. Eventually, Lisbeth prepares something on her bed before joining her family as they attend Stina's birthday dinner. Stig gives his mother a new toy rubber duck as a present, making Stina laugh at their inside joke. When Stig leaves his seat, Lisbeth follows and pulls him away while the others are distracted. She leads him back to her bedroom, where she offers herself to him. She assures him not to worry as she's prepared everything, including protection. However, 
Stig is too flustered to move, making Lisbeth believe he's uninterested. Hurt, she hurriedly dresses up and tearfully tells him to leave. Days pass, and a bothered Stig is in Viola's flat listening to classical music when the woman asks him to turn it down. Despite being angry, he complies and asks Viola why she settled with Kiel. After revealing that she married Kiel because he wasn't after her father's money, Viola admits she can't leave him, knowing he'll spiral into depression if she does. However, Stig questions Viola's motives and turns the music louder. Soon at school, Stig passes Lisbeth but ignores her. Later, he visits Kiel and is surprised to find him drunk. From the newspaper beside him, the student discovers that nylon garments are gaining popularity in America. Bothered, he tries to reassure the salesman it's just a fad, but Kiel becomes frustrated and passes out. Viola arrives and wants to use this chance for them to make love. However, Stig pities her husband, so he places a blanket on Kiel before leaving, hurting the lady. During class, Stig writes his answers on the board when Viola discreetly unbuttons her dress to make him look. She then secretly shows him a note to visit her later, but he excuses himself. He sneaks into the lady's locker room and hides inside a vaulting box, where he spies on Lisbeth. Stig manages to get her attention by aiming at her with a slingshot, so the latter tells her friend to use the bathroom first before they leave. This lets her discreetly climb inside the box for private time with her crush. Later, the next class rolls the vaulting box into the gym with the two still inside, leaving them no choice but to stay. The pair finally escape the box after class has ended. Lisbeth is amazed at how knowledgeable Stig is about intimacy, but the latter lies that he got it from working at the movies. The lady is happy to have her feelings reciprocated, though the man doesn't share the same enthusiasm. At home, Stig hears an alarming update about the explosion of the submarine Ulven on the radio. He anxiously checks Siga's letter, confirming through their secret code that his brother was aboard the same submarine. Stig becomes devastated but hides his tears as soon as Stina returns. Soon, he receives Siga's last telegram before the explosion and drinks to calm himself. Later, he hears another update on the missing soldiers when he realizes that his mother is home. He quickly goes to the kitchen and tries to drown out the radio by turning on the faucet, but Stina overhears the news. A shocked Stina realizes that Stig already knew. He admits that someone from the Navy delivered the news earlier and sincerely apologizes to his tearful mother for not telling her sooner. However, Stig tries to reassure her that the Navy has sent ships to search for the soldiers. Elsewhere, Viola waits for Stig when the cuckoo clock chimes and spits out gin on the table. Angry, she pulls it out and cries. Desperate to see her lover, she goes to the theater where Stig works. Meanwhile, Lisbeth and Olga are also in the cinema watching a movie. Lisbeth then gets up to search for Stig when she hears moans. Lisbeth opens the closet and is horrified to see him with Viola, quickly slamming the door on them. At school the next day, Stig tries to apologize, but Lisbeth is disgusted and wishes never to see him again. Elsewhere, Viola is drowning her sorrows in alcohol when Stig arrives and snatches the glass from her. She tries to kiss him, but he pushes her away as he realizes how toxic their relationship has been. Furious, Viola smashes the wine bottle and threatens Stig, forcing him to succumb to her wishes. Days later, Viola meets with the school principal to voice out her concern about Stig. After class, she talks to Stig privately, but he quickly tells her it's over between them. However, Viola declares that she has decided to fail him because he was absent without a parent's note. In truth, however, she can't stand him being in her classroom. Furious, Stig chases after Viola and pushes her into the storage closet. He asserts that he wasn't present in her classes because she instructed him to wait for her in her apartment. He threatens to tell the authorities about their relationship, but Viola argues that no one will believe him. During the next class, Stig writes on the chalkboard when Viola pulls up her dress to seduce him. Not having it, he kicks her table down, so the teacher then calmly orders him to leave. Later, Stig is called to the principal's office, where he's informed that he'll be repeating the class next year. Refusing to be defeated, he runs back to the classroom to get Viola's grade book, hoping to get the note she secretly wrote for him as evidence of their relationship. However, the teacher had ripped the page out already. Next, he visits an inebriated Kiel and begs him to talk his wife out of failing him, but the latter remains passive to his pleas. Disappointed in the man, Stig storms off. Making matters worse, a Navy officer arrives one day and takes Stig to the hallway to formally announce Siga's death. During this, 
The other students enjoy their break outside when a plane dumps gasoline on the grounds. Someone then sets the fuel on fire which causes injury to some students, but Stig is unfazed and leaves. A cheerful Stig then goes to the cinema, where he watches a newsreel about the Ulven submarine disaster in an empty theater. Dot. The empathetic projectionist sits behind him and tells him he'll turn off the reel soon so they can go home. Soon, Stig and his parents attend the funeral of his brother and the other soldiers who perished. On the train ride back home, Stina apologizes for not writing to the school to excuse Stig's bad grades and attendance, thinking that her son's performance was hindered by working late nights and worrying about Sig. However, she does sense something else is wrong, but Stig says he'll tell her when she's older and wiser. Noticing Seymour has disappeared, Stig goes outside, where he finds his father tearfully singing and hugs him. Soon, during the school ceremony, Viola hands out the certificates when Stig barges in walks right up to her, and shows her his member. He then leaves without taking his certificates, and Viola cries. Stig breaks into the school and grabs all of Viola's dictionaries. In the end, he leaves the premises, taking with him the expertise it may offer. Thanks for watching please like share and subscribe.